Hey, boo. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and clear my throat and put on a sexy voice because y'all see it. Tonight, we are tapping into all of this divine feminine energy power and we're tapping into sexiness, okay? Whatever sexiness looks like for you, whatever makes you feel sexy, go ahead and tap into that. I just really been learning the true power behind sexiness, like embracing your body, embracing your skin, embracing that inner dragon, baby, like unleash it. It's just so much power in your sexy confidence, not giving a damn about what society thinks or what you should have on, what you shouldn't have on. Baby, do you get up in that mirror, take some pictures, feel yourself. If you got a toy for the night, okay, <laughs> do what you gotta do. So we about to talk about it, honey. Go ahead and grab your glass of wine, kick back and get cute with me, and let's go ahead and jump into this video. Grown and sexy for me. Mm. It's the wine for me. It's the baby hairs for me. It's, it's really, really that clear, clear lace for me. Hey boo, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So you already see the vibes. Y'all see the grown and sexy vibes we got going on. So today I'm bringing you guys into the cute chat where we have cute looks and cute conversations, okay? So tonight we're gonna be talking about tapping into that sexiness, okay? Tapping into that divine, fan, feminine energy power. And of course, with our cute conversation, we gotta come cute with it. So shout out to XRS Beauty for keeping us cute today. I love XRS Beauty. It's just like the luxury of wigs, like the packaging, just the everything is just absolutely beautiful. Very great quality wigs. Y'all already know how they come in with this clear lace. Y'all, I have seen it all, the transparent, the HD, the, you know, brown lace or whatever. This clear lace is just everything. Look how it melts into your skin, just invisible. Like, it's invisible. You can't see it. I'm just so outdone with the clear lace. Their hairlines are just absolutely amazing. No plucking to be done whatsoever like these wigs are really just the truth so thank you xrs beauty for sponsoring today's video y'all make sure to click those links down below in that description box to get your hands on one of their wigs and to check out all of their information hold on girl we about to go ahead and jump into this cute chat if you want to see how i slayed and laid this wig girl go ahead and stay tuned because it's some magic about to happen okay hey boo what's up welcome back to my channel so you see the vibes today y'all see the vibes okay sip it on a little something i'm already lit I think that's gonna be my last sip of that. We about to get into this chat. It's about to get real. It's about to get sexy. It's about to get a little spicy, a little hot up in here or whatever. But I want y'all to enjoy this montage of this wig I'm about to silk press because I'm about to silk press it to the boss. So yes, y'all enjoy this montage and then we gonna jump into this sexy chat. <laughs> fake uh, boss cap method. I'm just trying something, girl. I got airbrush legs because I'm all out of my even spray. So, we're just gonna try to do some frame for Peach Chat. Okay. It might be too. That might work. And I'm gonna just use some powder more so on my hairline because I don't know if that spray is a little too wet. So, you know, go ahead and get a good melt. Because I do plan on melting this lace today, okay? I plan on giving it to the girls, like, I'm looking at this girl and this girl looking at me, and she said she, she, you know, she ain't come play no games. Okay, I think this fake ball cap might be giving a little something, it might do a little something. Oh yeah, I think that might be a go. Spray it in and seal it in a little bit. Since we are gonna be giving it to the girls, we gotta really clean this hairline off. 
So while we get this wig laid, let's go ahead and chit chat it up. I made an Instagram post and I was just, you know, at my lingerie party, my 27th lingerie party, embracing my divine feminine power, just feeling myself, feeling good in my skin, like all that, you know what I'm saying? I posted a cute, sexy picture with a good message. Oh yeah. Y'all see that? It's about to be lit. Look at that fake ball cap. Now this wig does fit a little big, but I found out how to cut wigs perfectly and make them you know factory wigs perfect to your head so i will be doing a video really really soon so we can always have these wigs on flat flat no humps in the back everything just you know what i'm saying stay tuned for that so yeah i posted my little picture just embracing my divine power my divine sexy self and people feathers be ruffled it's the even lace spray y'all this is the new stuff y'all see this red can y'all know that this is the even lace spray y'all know this is what i'm on I feel like more women now, like we understand our power, but some of us, we still stuck behind and I just want to get us all caught up to speed, like especially us as women, because honestly, a lot of the times it don't even be the men. To be completely real, a lot of the times, well no, I ain't going to say a lot of the times because these things too tripping but i'm gonna just say that it's not only the men it's a lot of women that's still very judgmental towards other women that's not comfortable with women showing their body and you know believe that modesty is the only right way to be and yada 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 you a whore you a slut if you dress otherwise if you look otherwise if you showing any type of skin and that's what i just really really want to address because us as women embracing our feminism, like that's what feminism is. Like embracing every single part of feminine power and womanhood and just taking all of that back, owning it, okay? Doing what you wanna do. Not conforming to these constraints of society and misogynistic views that literally have been deeply rooted, not even just in this country, but in this entire world. We look at the history of women around the world, it is truly sad. Like we gonna use America as an example, the US of A, honey. And I'm gonna use black women, for example, because I can just relate because I am a black woman and my ancestors were slaves. So our history in this country, we came over here oppressed, tortured, beaten, but then you add on top of that being a woman, being raped, being bred, having your body and soul completely snatched from you. It was taught that it wasn't even your own. Like, even as time progressed, we still were like inferior to men, still not being paid equally. A lot of women scared to leave their husbands, they being beat on and that was like the norm. Um, it was normal for a woman to not work and just be up under a man. You know what I'm saying? Like even as time progressed, like if you look at women's rights, that stuff is not that far off. It's like, we just now getting certain rights. It's literally people that stand outside of Planned Parenthood and protest to what women choose to do with their own bodies. What? What? I cannot tighten this band, hold on. But do y'all see this melt? Like, okay, wait a minute. Do y'all see this melt already? Oh my God. Don't know other wig be having me gassing this hard already. Like I ain't even did nothing yet. I just put the thing on my head. That's what I first want us to understand. Like the history of women, how oppressed we were and still are in a lot of ways. And how a lot of society rules and everything was deeply rooted in misogyny. Now we just gonna cut this lace off girl and try not to mess it up. So anyway, under my post, this person, I don't know if it was a man or a woman, but this person said, like, do y'all see this lace though? Oh my God, wait. Mm, 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 mm. <clears throat> they said something along the lines of like, so you post stuff like this, but then don't want men objectifying you, make it make sense. <sighs> okay. I had to make it make sense for the, the person. You want me to make it make sense? Because you a little, you, you a little behind in your thinking, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch you up to speed and help you make it make sense. I had to explain to this person that it is not a woman's responsibility to determine another person's, especially a man's, moral compass like i just don't understand it's a woman's job to dress this way and that way so a man don't do this and that it's a woman's job to make sure she do like that so the man don't do that in return what i'm teaching my little boys that to give respect to treat other people <laughs> man or woman like they're human beings like period i just don't understand why everything is so expected 
out of the girls and out of women and nothing is expected from young men oh boys will be boys and like no we not doing that we killing that we are breaking that chain we breaking that cycle we not raising no we not doing that what we gonna do is check bad behavior at the door we're gonna raise our young men to treat women with respect just because somebody has anything on that they have the freedom to wear does not give them any type of right or ownership over them that's what we gonna teach our sons not going to our daughters oh well, you shouldn't have wore that that's that toxic she asked for it culture that is just really crazy to me and we really got to change that narrative and that mindset especially us as women together like come on honey 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 that's why i absolutely love meg the stallion that's why i love the city girls that's why i love every woman out there who is just raw as fuck does not care what nobody say is just owning her sexuality owning her lyrics owning her rawness owning her power knowing who they are standing in their power and not giving a fuck about this damn society telling them what they gotta be and another view that comes into play is how would you want your daughter to behave or how would you want your daughter to see you or you know what's the example that we set for our young girls me personally i hope my daughter will have the confidence the power just knowing she has that power to be anything she wants to be to unleash anything that's within her that she wants to unleash i hope that my daughter will stand in that and not be afraid of anybody i hope my daughter will not be afraid of these societal standards and rules and conform to anything that she does not feel comfortable with that's what i want for my daughter i mean of course the babies ain't gonna be out here like that but i mean we're grown and i understand that kids see this stuff but that's just the world like nothing is gonna shut the world off that's why i'm not gonna sugarcoat nothing with my kids i don't you know not cuss in front of my kids because oh i don't want them to hear cuss words they gonna hear it anyway they gonna see it all whether that come from me or come from somebody else they gonna, this is the world you can shelter kids but only for so long i don't want my kids to have to learn everything from everybody else like why can't they learn it from me i'm just not that type of person or parent where i want to shelter or feel the need to shelter my kids from the world i feel like my job as a parent is just to raise my kids the way that i want to raise my kids i want to teach my kids respect i want to teach them love i want to teach them boundaries i want to teach them kindness sorry not sorry i don't want to teach my kids that the biggest issue on our plate is somebody else's body a lot of people feel like that and i just feel like you cannot expect this world to raise your kids you see a grown woman posting um a sexy picture on a grown uh, instagram you know you like you can't be mad at that grown woman for doing what she want to do for owning her power and expressing herself in the way that she wants to express herself with complete freedom because she can you know what i'm saying like you can't be mad at that just train your kids in the way that you want your kids to go we about to bust down on these baby hairs the arrogant tay way ouch And that's just why I'm so in love with Meg Thee Stallion new video thought like girl when I say I got my whole entire life like did you catch the message did you catch the message did you catch the message Meg is so unapologetic she is just so like <laughs> so yeah if you ain't get nothing I just said just go watch the thought video and try to catch that message up in there because it was really really good like I just really enjoyed that and I just am enjoying finding myself as like a a feminist i wasn't always this way like i had a lot of constraints on myself you know from religion and you know just other people's thoughts and other people's opinions and other people's beliefs so i've been through a few little mindsets you know what i'm saying so i'm just happy to have the mindset i have now just to be a completely free woman to be like owning myself owning my sexuality owning my sensuality like not giving a damn what nobody gotta say about it like who cares oh y'all see how these baby hairs is swooping and doing it's doing a little much but i like that and i really want to say that we should all just learn to respect and love each other like ain't no one way the right way like nothing is wrong with modesty and nothing is wrong with skin there's people that find freedom and beauty and modesty and there's people that find beauty and freedom in their nakedness and skin or in less clothing you know like it doesn't matter everybody is free to make their own choices and as women we should just be so happy like that we are at a place of like we can make our own choices I always say like I feel like I'm my ancestors wildest dream everything was just snatched from them the fact that I get to reclaim that and I get to own that I get to release that mindset and those shackles and just like completely be free girl 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 Girl, 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 gir
And that's what you gotta know. <laughs> I mean, if you don't know me. I just want for every woman to tap into that divine feminine power. And to me, that's just knowing and finding everything about you as a woman, embracing it, okay? Knowing that don't nobody got power over you. These niggas ain't got power over you. Don't nobody got to say so over your life but you, okay? Dig deep and find that divine feminine power. So me chilling, you know, sipping on my wine, doing my hair, getting cute, feeling sexy, doing all those things to take care of myself and just feel sexy and just, you know what I'm saying, take myself on a little date or whatever. It just feels so good and it's just so important. It's a huge part of self-care digging into that sexiness that sassiness girl have some fun with yourself okay i just want you to embrace all of that sexiness and just own it and girl live in it because that is yours that is for you chilling in my lingerie getting myself together sipping on my wine feeling good it's not for no man it's not for no woman it's not for anybody else it's for me it's just for me to feel good it's for me to feel empowered and for me to feel sexy and sensual and that's what you gotta know Oh my God, I so enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed listening to this cute chat, honey. Wait a minute, more than the cute chat. Can we tune into the lace? Like, <laughs> Baby, baby, XRS, they be coming through doing what they gotta do for the girl us, okay? They just have some really good quality wigs. I also wanna reiterate how full this wig is. This is 200% density and it is literally 200% density like this hair is so oh my god I can't ugh. let me give you a real life tease like girl I 24 inches I'm about 5'2 and look at that, it goes all the way down to my booty. I am so in love with this unit, I love XRS. Like I don't have anything negative to say about them. Every wig I get is just straight fire, like straight fire. So make sure to check out the description box, click those links down below to get your hands on one of these wigs. I love me a kinky straight girl because it always comes through nice and full and it just has that texture to it, which I love. So yes, check that description box. Thank you once again, XRS Beauty, for sponsoring today's video, helping us get cute and tapping into that divine feminine power, okay? Like all of our cute chats, I hope this inspires you to take care of yourself and just to look good, feel good, because y'all know that's the motto this way. I hope that this conversation shed a little light on women empowerment, women's sexiness, women's sexuality, women's sensuality. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give me a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you ain't subscribed, girl. Come on, enjoy the crew. Follow me on Instagram to see some cute pictures. Thank y'all again for watching. I We'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out.